Yes, so welcome to Vasily's Garden, folks. Now, we're revisiting our citrus tree here that we came to about a week ago to give it a treatment because we realized after talking about top dressing and fertilizing our citrus trees i discovered that this one here was being infested or attacked it had ants all over it farming the scale we had discoloration going on in the middle and the tree was looking battered and we um weathered so what we did back then just to recap is we actually top dressed it with our planting mix now i haven't watered out here today and we've had a lot of high wind but you can see look at this we should go back to the other video and show you that I couldn't actually put my fingers in the soil because it was so bloody hard and the water wasn't penetrating through. So this, this top dress that I've used here is our planting mix. It's not available at your local garden centres yet, although we have got a few who are keen to get it in stock because we need to get it bagged with a label and all that. So, so far, for those who've been able to get it from us, uh, have been buying it from our store in Kobe that since has gone, which since has gone, um, as a clean skin and a couple of letters on it just to describe which one it is. This is the planting mix, eight ingredients in it, all organic, and the tree if we refer back to what it was a couple of weeks ago or a week or so ago, it was really in a worse state. It was yellow in the middle. You could see it's actually holding its green now. There's still a few old yellow leaves, nothing to worry about. Loaded with fruit, and this is the new growth on it on top already. Have a look at that. There's no spray on that. And what I'm referring to is the CGWS. In my video I did yesterday, I spoke about the product, uh, and it leaves a white film. In this case, a little bit of a speckle there. You can see, if I just rub my finger on it, you can see how it comes off a little bit. It actually sticks on quite well. Here's a good example of it. Okay, so that's the white film on it. It has washed off uh, somewhat because we had a heavy rain. Now that film is a barrier shield. And why did I spray it? Well, I discovered we had scale on here and ants marching up and down. So first we treated the soil with our planting mix so we can get some nutrients back into the plant. And that's the stuff you want to be applying to all your garden and pot plants to actually rebuild the life in the soil. Because that bag is basically a bag full of life, bag full of good bacteria and fungi. And then second to that, we actually wrapped around this, all I did, because I didn't have a team to do it, I did it on my own. I wrapped around uh, grafting tape with a bio tape similar to your Glade wrap. So if you don't want to buy the bio tape, you can just use kitchen old, old kitchen Glade wrap, wrap it around so create a, a barrier about four inches, five inches high. But on top of that, I applied the product called Tree Guard. It's a sort of a gooey paste that sits on there and it does run down when it gets a little bit hot. See, it's run down here, but it's still gooey and sticky. See that, how it sticks? Now that creates a barrier, a ring barrier around the trunk stopping the ants from traveling up and down. And having a look here, you can see the ants are still active. They're walking around. I'm not sure if they're still, they're actually nesting in here or just foraging for food. But what we have got up here is scale. And why I sprayed it here is to prevent any further infestation of citrus leaf miner, because that's something that's happening quite a lot at this time of the year and stop the ants. So deter the ants from farming up there. So we created a tree guard or barrier and a shield over the top. And as you can see, there is absolutely not a single bit of ants on here that's farming any more scale. But let's have a close look and see what the scale's up to because they're button-like insects that don't walk and they sit there and sucker themselves onto the foliage and the stems of the plant and suck the sap out. Now, when it gets in excessive proportions and um, quantities, they start to cause a, a little bit of a sticky or leave a sticky residue and these are the bottom leaves here you can see this missed out on the spray but that's got a bit of a can you see the shine there I can I'm not sure if you can there's a little bit of a shine there and that is a little bit sticky and tacky that if left untreated will develop into a sooty mold a black sort of powder on the leaf and it's that when that happens where is a concern for your tree because that will actually suffocate your tree because it needs the leaves to breathe. It perspires from the leaf, it photosynthesizes from the leaf, it absorbs nutrients and moisture and releases moisture through the leaves. And the sooty mold will suffocate that and you don't want that to happen. The actual CGWS on top is a great way to stop insects getting onto your plant. And now I'm looking for scale. Here we are. This is scale that 
has been on here for a while and you can see the white powder that's been on top of it. Now scale doesn't fall off that easily, whether it's dead, when it's dead that is. But the only way you can tell if it's dead or not is by squashing it. If it's alive, it'll be quite moist. If it's dead, it'll turn to powder. Let me just get it on my hand. That, they're gone. Have a look at that. That's dry. So that scale's dead. It's still on the tree, but it's dead. Let's find another spot. Oh, look at this. We found some more here. That's gone. That's dry. So maybe the CGWS has worked. Now, you may be questioning me and thinking, wait a second, were they dead before you sprayed it? Well, let me put it to you this way. Were there ants all over the tree? Because they don't kill them. They actually farm them so they, can, they want them to multiply because what they excre excrete is that um, sweet nectar, let's call it, uh, from the scale, which is honey, like honeydew for the ants and they feed off that. So let's find some more scale. Why did I put the glasses away? I can't see anything without my glasses. I don't see any scale here. Oh, up here, up here, 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 here. All right, have a look here. That's scale. Now I'm just going to squash that. Are we ready to squash it? Ooh, what's that? Somebody's up here. We just saw an ant there. It's disappeared. I thought it was an ant. It might have been something else. Now I'm going to squash this and see if anything comes out. Is that moist? Does that look moist there? That could have been. Let me just rub my finger on it. Yeah. So even if I rub my finger on it, it's, yep, all right. I'm just looking for that sheen to come out. Yeah, that's moist. So these are alive. What about this one? This one's alive. All right, so you can see all that liquid coming out there, all that juicy stuff. All right, so that's alive. These ones are alive, folks. I'm going to squash these ones too on this side. Yep, Did you, I saw it. See my nail? Can you see it there? So these ones are alive, folks. So the CGWS is a preventative from insects penetrating onto the plant, not trying to suffocate an insect like scale that's stuck on the plant because that little shell on top is not the insect itself. The insect lives on the underside of that. That's a little hut for it. So we've got to use something like an oil base and the best oil base is the one straight out of your pantry folks you don't need to be buying everything to protect your garden you can make your own compost you can make your own fertilizers and you can make your own insecticides and in this case here i recommend you use a teaspoon to a tablespoon of olive oil two drops of earth friendly dishwashing liquid in one liter of water and spray it to the point of dripping runoff and that way you will suffocate the insect and eventually dehydrate it to the point where it becomes dry and brittle when you touch it and turns to dust. So that's what you're going to do with the scale. Otherwise, look out for leaf miner on the new leaves because it will cause them to twist and turn and buckle and cause the tree to go backwards. This tree is a little bit yellow because it needed a feed. We fed it, keep the hydration up. We've got lots of fruit all over it. Okay, everywhere you look, there is fruit, lots of fruit. And it is safe to spray the CGWS on the fruit because it simply just washes off with a little bit of water. You can see I'm just wiping it off like that there, folks. So, look after your citrus trees because it is a season for citrus to get them ready right into autumn, winter when they start to grow their fruit and ripen it and make sure you feed them well. Now, if you're looking for something from our website, folks, we still are delivering to homes. Not a huge range, but we have got our black grid small sizes, CGWS, our superfoods available. But you can also click and collect from our Lethbridge store. Now, if you're looking for a store near you, in whatever state you are, simply go to our website, vasellisgarden.com, click on the stockist page and the drop down menu with all the different states. Select your state and scroll through to find a store near you. Now, if there's not a store that's near your place, please feel free to reach out to us as well as the store owners and we'll connect with them to make sure that we can get our products out to your location so you can shop freely at leisure at great prices. That's VasiliesGarden.com for everything you need every day. From me, Vasily, Madesi.